Hello everyone and namaste. I am Aishi Deshmukh and today I'll be showing you the whole process from my recent shoots inspired by nature. Look at this place. This place is so amazing and rich in nature. Actually, I planned to shoot outside this time, but due to some security reasons and stuck in their ways crowd behavior, I ended up taking only the pictures from here. And I thought that I won't be able to make it this time, but I don't want it to make further delays anymore. Now I'll show you how I've created my nature inspired look. First, I'll start with some moisturizer. Trusting Joy products is suitable for my skin. You can choose whatever is suitable for your skin as well. Primer. I'll start with the Lakme foundation because it's so smooth on the skin. I'll use my hand to blend this because I didn't find any tool better than this. I'd use some concealer for this eye part. And some face powder. For the eyes, I'll go with the Coral Sunset from Lakme Eyeshadow Palette. I'll be using the combination of these shades. We'll keep it natural, not too much for this look. And just a touch up of this blush from Faces Canada. I'll add the link in the description. I'm using the Faces Canada Makeup Fixer this time. And it's my favorite part when it comes to the lipstick shades. First of all, please apply the moisturizer of your choice. And one of my most favorite shade is Nude Latte from Black Me. For this look, I wanted a nude shade with a tint of orange. So I've applied the Nude Latte first. And then I've applied just a bit of orange tango to make it the perfect look for the green nature eye look I'm using this cream color of liquid eyeliner from like me and in the first time I'm using this kind of eye makeup and I don't know how to create the leaflets on the face so I'll be using a little bit guide for myself so I'm using this Camlin sketch pen to guide me through it and then over the top I'll be coating it with the same eyeliner. And for balancing this look, I'm using the winged eye on the other side. I don't like to heat up my hair only once or twice a year. So I'm using the natural curls for my hair. I just tied up all of my hair after curling it. And when I opened it, it came out like this. And now I'll be styling my hair. And without some flowers, the shoot is just incomplete. So I've used some Tezu flowers, jungle flames. For these flowers, I woke up early in the morning and went inside the fields. And the birdies were so cute and helpful for helping me picking up these flowers. The color is like fireworks in nature. For complementing this jungle vibe, I've created two braids from some old piece of cloths of the same color as these flowers and one with my dress. And tucked in both of them in my hair. And this is my final look. Actually, I've created this dress by myself and it's all hand stitched and I'm so glad that it came out just the way I wanted. I couldn't shoot the whole video while stitching this dress but I've got some snaps. And I'll show you the whole dress now. And now let's jump on to the part of shooting. For this shoot, I've used the blue backdrop, but actually I wanted it the chroma kind of blue. But it came out like this from the online shopping and from Amazon and they are not even coming for the replacement now. So I thought that I could use this to try 
but as I processed this in the editing softwares, it didn't come out that well and there wasn't any clean footage from this. So I've just cropped it and used it on my pictures only. I've planned to shoot this from the camera but the light wasn't good enough and then I thought that I'll shoot this some other time. I've packed it up already but then I realized that till now whatever I've done for this shoot, the preparations and everything will be gone away just due to this. Even though I've tried the other space to take the shots, even after trying some natural resources of light, I wasn't able to make it uh, look right in the camera. Although I've used this fake chroma, but I wasn't able to take the whole video out of it, so I just took some shots from it. So here comes the life savior, Adobe Photoshop. Now I'll show you a bit of my editing process. I've cropped it out all of the background from the images and used the background which once I took pictures and here's some before and after the editing process. If you want to see the shots, you can click the link up here. If you like the video and you're new to my channel, please go and subscribe. I'll make more of these kind of videos and there are so much more exciting videos coming soon. And we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.